hello, welcome back to another episode of the Nasty Talks. Woo! Yes, guys, we are back. We are back and running. I wanted to tell you that I'm feeling like shit. I am so sick. Uh, I mean, I'm feeling better. I was super sick before, but yeah, we're we're getting there. It's all good. It's all good. The sad thing is that Mirza will not be here anymore, but, um, you know, he might show up in the future. You never know. Mirza is like the rain. He shows up when you least expect it and uh, when you really don't want it. But anyways, let's go on with our stuff. I just wanted to let you know that I've been feeling so bad. Like, I don't know what's been going on lately. First, I get corona. It's terrible, obviously. My throat is hurting as hell. And I can make episodes and all that. And then this whole Ukraine thing, war, blah, blah, goes on. And I don't feel like talking about sex because people are dying. And now I'm getting yet another sickness. I'm getting pneumonia and I'm feeling like shit. This spring is like, it's really shit, but man, oh, it's it's fine, it's fine, we'll get through it, we'll get through it. You know, in my sickness days, one thing that I've been able to, been so proud of is my mustache game. I've grown those whiskers, oh my god, it looked like a fully grown cat on my face. It was amazing. It was beautiful and also weird. Um, so yeah, but I, I, I just wanted to let you guys know because it's a normal thing. It's a normal thing that most of the women have and I do as well. And the women that don't have this are either lying, uh, they're using permanent hair removal, they are maybe blonde and they have like a little bit of puffy puffy hair that is not even visible. Or or they're just lying. Like, everybody has facial hair. Even women. And let's normalize this. This is a normal thing. And obviously, like, I, I get it why a lot of women would want to get rid of it. Because it's not very feminine. We are used to being feminine. And it's not just about what men think. It's more about how we feel. And we don't feel sexy if we have a bush on our upper lip. So obviously uh, we shave it, we um, pluck it out, we uh, use wax, whatever, whatever we have to do honestly to get rid of it. And that's fine. So enough with my very manly side of uh, my body. Let's go into the more, um, how should I say it, womenly side of the body. And Maybe let's talk, let's talk a little bit about the period, man. So when we talk about periods, <clears throat> I think it's a very sensitive topic and I think I'm losing half of the male audience right now. But don't go. Please don't go. This involves you too. Because periods are something that every woman experiences in their life. And you as a man, think about it. You either work with a woman, you either have a girlfriend, or you have a mom, or you have a daughter, or you honestly maybe just see women on the street, which is also something that, you know, it's part of your life. It's something that you are involved in in as well. So this is something that we need to understand together and we need to work together towards period awareness. So let's do it. Okay, so what are the things that men should know about periods? I wa- Guys, so I want you to know that everything that you see out there is true. The color of the period is definitely red like blood, because it is blood. Then, on the other hand, we definitely do have pain. And actually, recent studies has shown that the level of pain that the woman experiences in her period, the equivalent of that 
is the pain of having a heart attack. So I think it would just be nice to acknowledge the pain and maybe just try and accept the fact that we are actually going through a lot when we are on our period. It is a difficult situation to be in, especially when you want to give your best at your work, at being a a good friend or a good wife or a good girlfriend or whatever, and you experience these kind of pains monthly. It is definitely something that needs to be addressed. Maybe let's go into how men can act how you guys can act when your girl, girlfriend is on her period. So the nice thing to do is just to ask her if she's okay, if she wants some tea, if she wants some chocolate, if she would like a nice cuddle, because that's actually what we feel like. Isn't that the same thing? Like if you're sick, you as a man can put yourself in her shoes in the sense that when you're sick, if your tummy is hurting and you don't really feel like doing much, then you maybe also want maybe some tea or some soup and a nice warm cuddle or just sitting in a corner on the couch watching TV and just not thinking about much. That's what we feel as well and that's what we want and... It's just a nice gesture if you want to offer that. Also, something else that we might want when we are on our periods. Obviously, that's not going to happen necessarily in the first day uh, because the first day is pretty painful. But after that, we have pretty high levels of cravings for sex. Lucky for you, we are also really good in bed when we are on our periods because of the fact that we are super horny, we don't, we are not in our heads too much, so we just go for it. So if you are not a period sex guy until now, now is the moment to start. But yeah, like, I I get it also if you think, oh, blood, oh, I don't want to have sex because blood, because it's uncomfortable, because it smells, because it's uh, red, and all the other stuff that came that come with it but I think that's something that needs to be communicated right so if you're a guy and your girl is on her period and you want to know what she thinks about it because most of the times we girls we are not we are not disgusted by it because it's it's in our body anyways we have to deal with it whatever we do it's not like we can just you know pray to god and be like hey god can you take it away oh thanks no it doesn't go like that so we anyways need to deal with it um and if we can get a little bit of pleasure while we are in that period of the month then i guess most of the women will be fine with it and will actually enjoy it so if you ask a woman she's mostly gonna relate to what her boyfriend wants in terms of period sex and most of the guys don't want it because they're bitch boys they're pussies they're pussies that don't give blood because pussies that give blood are strong pussies and these pussies are just like weak pussies so do you want to be a weak pussy or do you want to be a loving boyfriend that shows a lot of strength and eagerness to have sex. Who do you want to be? Well, I'll tell you. You want to be the cool guy that wants to have sex on the period. Um, And obviously, guys, maybe just make sure that she is not in her most Niagara type of period. I mean, type. It's not like there's a type. It's more like there's uh, days and days. And you decide on what you want to do if you're into the shower, if you have a shower kink while being on the period, or if you want to do it in the bed with a towel. But you know what? Something that is definitely not okay is expect a blowjob from your girl when she's on her period. It's a no. And it's definitely a no. I don't encourage it. I don't encourage it for men 
to actually come up with the idea and say, hey, you know, if, if you can't have sex, you can just give me a blowjob, you know, hmm, baby, just give me a blowjob. It's like, no. Why should he get a blowjob? Why should he get, like, pleasure when the woman is actually in pain? Like, what the fuck? That's super wrong. I don't agree with it. And, girl, if you are on her on your period and you feel bad because your boyfriend cannot have sex with you because he's disgusted about your period, then maybe you should consider what kind of guy you're having next to you. And if that guy is really worth having next to you, if you feel obligated to give him a blowjob. You know, like, I... I feel like women should not be embarrassed of who they are and they should definitely not be embarrassed because they have the greatest gift of all, which is giving life. And I'm saying this because I feel like there's a lot of people that forget that having a period means that you can have a baby, means that you can actually produce life and that's... A wonderful thing and it shouldn't be it shouldn't be taken as something shameful or as something disgusting because it's it's not true so next time you decide to have sex girl if it's on your period just go get it just go and say Oh baby, let's have sex. Let's let's have sex. And then if he discovers that it's on you're on your period, and then if he looks disgusted, please send him back to his mama to teach him how to fucking treat a woman. This is not your problem. This is not something that you have to deal with. This is the bitch boy problem and the way his mom raised him and the way the society made him feel about periods it's a men's world how they say it but we are finally all equal then why the fuck should we give them the the opportunity to act like it if they anyways have everything that they want to they get blowjobs whenever they want to why should they get it when it's our when it's our you know period week it's like our it's my week bitch you don't get any blowjobs if you want to fuck me you fuck me i want pleasure too also Because it has been shown that if a woman orgasms while being on her period, then her cramps, her period cramps, decrease a lot. So, if you are also thinking, guys, how can you help your girl when she's on her period? Well, there you go. Make her orgasm. That's how. And yeah, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing, you know. Like, she's giving you blood. You're giving her orgasms. It's perfect. It's all good. Okay, I'm joking, obviously. But I'm not joking on the fact that guys should definitely become more manly and accept blood. Like, what the fuck? They would go to war. I mean, they they would be, like, so manly saying, oh, yeah, we men, like, we hunt, we go to war, we do that, we see blood every day. No, bitch. You're afraid to look at my period blood. Like, you don't want to fuck me because you're disgusted about blood. What the fuck is that? What is the... Wh- where is the man inside you? That's just like a bitch boy. So fuck off. All the bitch boys, fuck off. It is also known that women have a higher sex drive when being on their periods. So why not give them what they want? If they want sex, give them sex. Damn it. Sex is good. Um. Okay, let's make a scenario in our heads about... <clears throat> you as a man, you're just coming home from work, everything is good, and your girl is just laying on the couch. She's tired and she's bored and she is um, just dealing with her period and she's just watching a series. And let's just have a sex fantasy. You just literally take her up and move her to the bathroom. You turn on the shower. You let the water heat up while you kiss her. So tender and passionate. Mm. You take off her clothes 
and you tell her, I'm gonna fuck you tonight and I'm gonna make you feel so much better. So get in the motherfucking shower and let's and let's get it. And then boom, it's happening. And then nobody has to feel awkward about it. Nobody has to feel weird about it. Because if people are comfortable with periods, then life is a wonderful place, right? If we accept the small things in life, that the, the small barriers between us that make us act weird and confused. These are the things that you need to keep in mind. Communication is key. I know that women do feel disgusted about, you know, just showing themselves naked maybe when they're on their periods or letting their guys see their tampons or cups or whatever they're using or their blood. Like, they're so ashamed by it because they know that's, that the society exception, the society perception actually of period is so negative and it's one of shame. So women should be shameful. Women should be feeling weak as the period is a weakness because that's what they say also in religion. Religion has made women that are on their periods being the weak ones. And that's also why women are being called the weak sex because of the fact that they bleed. In the past, women were not allowed and are still in in some beliefs in some countries. Women are not allowed to go in the church while being on their periods because they are seen as impure. And apparently that impurity it's only for fucking seven days. So h- how does it work? Is like, okay, you're impure for seven days and then, oh, wow, you're so holy. So yeah, even nowadays in religion, a lot of women are, most of the in most of the places, women are not allowed to be in churches when they're on their periods because they are seen as impure. For some reason, impurity or period blood and God are not going hand in hand, which doesn't make sense because, you know, we bleed sometimes. We we cut ourselves, something happens, we bleed. Should we not go to the church anymore because we had an accident? No, we go to the church so we heal from that accident, from that emotional pain that we got during the accident. And maybe some people do believe that, you know, going to the church and all that will also heal, heal them on the physical side. But then, why is a woman that will give birth to a child, which is something very much admired in the religion and by God, why is this something wrong? Yeah, we don't know what the situation is. I cannot get to a conclusion to it because I I don't have God with me right now and uh, I don't have anybody that works in a in a church with me right now. So sadly, it's just me and my thoughts. But yeah, let's say that you are in a situation where a relationship situation ship, but not the relationship relationship situation ship. It's a more dating situation ship. So you've been dating this guy for a while now, maybe some weeks. And you have had sex with him once, let's say. And this time you're meeting at your place and uh, you're having some dinner and some Netflix and chill. And how do you tell him that you are on your period? Because maybe he's only coming for sex. You don't know. You're not sure. You've been dating only for some weeks. You don't know where you're standing. You don't know if you should inform him that you're on your period or not and how to do it in order to not make the whole situation awkward. So my idea would be just to make it fun. So if you're having a Netflix and chill, 
then just text him and be like, hey babe, I was thinking for uh, tonight to make a more themed Netflix and chill. Maybe we can make it into a Halloween version of Netflix and chill. And then he's gonna be like, but why babe? And then you're gonna be like, because your girl is getting bloody in here, hell yeah. Um, yeah, so you, you, you can do it like that, all funny, you know. Is it, like, a bit weird? Yes. Is it effective? Hell yes. Is it maybe awkward for him? Who knows, maybe. You can do it all fun like this, you know, all crazy like this. Or you can also be straightforward and just say, like, hey... I know that uh, we are going to have a Netflix and chill and uh, I didn't know if I should surprise you with uh, my period or maybe you should know about it from the beginning. So I just uh, assumed that maybe you should know about it. And then it's his decision if he's coming over or not. I would say that that's the best, that's the best choice. But as I have mentioned before as well. I feel like periods need to be normalized more and more. And it's not a shame to go to the bathroom and change your pad or your tampon or whatever you're using. So I think you should stop hiding it. And if there's any men that make fun of you because you're having a tampon or a pad in your hand, then I guess next time you should just, if it's on, at your work, whatever, you should just go and put your period on their notebook or laptop or whatever. Like, what the fuck? If you have to go to the bathroom to pee, will you just hold because you think people will make fun of you? Like, this is something that comes with life. It's just something that you cannot control, you cannot stop. It's not in your hands to stop your period and you shouldn't. It's something normal. And if men don't understand this, I think it's because they don't have enough knowledge about it and because they are sort of left behind when this knowledge is being shared. Nobody talks with men about periods because they think that there's no need for that. They think that the need is for women to know about their bodies and what is going on in their bodies and what they should do. Yes, but how do we assume that men will be there for us and men will help us in our period situation and life situations if they have no idea what we're going through. So, as I've said before, communication is key in everything and we need to discuss, discuss this kind of things and have talks about women's periods with men and include men in this situation because they have the right to know and they should know in order to be on the same page, in order to be on the same level. Because if we just shut the door about periods and we don't tell them anything, then they're just going to assume, oh, well, it's not such a big deal, maybe. If I'm not included in it, 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 it just means that it just doesn't matter. And then... That's how their behavior is going to be like. Their behavior is going to be very, very absent. And they're not going to care. They're not going to be preoccupied with what is going on in our lives. If we don't include them in our lives. So that's what this episode was about. A little bit of awareness of uh, periods and what they are. And how men should perceive periods. And how women should inform men about periods and about themselves. Maybe just check in. If if you have a relationship with a man, just check in with him. Tell him, oh, today I'm not feeling very well because of my period. Or I am a bit sad. I don't know why. I think it's maybe the hormones. I think it's the period. You know, obviously, it's not something to blame for everything in your life. Like, you know, like, you know, uh, we've had a fight two days ago and... Uh, uh, I just got my period today, so it's definitely because of that. So I am not to blame for yelling at you, babe. That's not okay. Because if we blame everything on our period, then we don't take anything, any action for our own mistakes, and that is wrong. But obviously, 
it is important to have a little bit of communication about it and make men understand about uh, our feelings and just how periods are. So thanks for uh, tuning in and for listening to this uh, episode and um, just have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.